doing an analysis of a photo from a fashion magazine. This is a swimwear pose, which means I can see a lot of the body, which is great. You can find poses where you can see the figure. It's really helpful. See, I'm marking high shoulder to high hip, looking at side planes, getting the angles, leg to knee to foot. That's our play leg. Just, it's like blocking in an architectural drawing. You're getting all the angles, relationships of one body part to the next. And really key, of course, is the center front line. It's important that I pick that accurately. Even the face, I want to know what angle the features are. Now I can use this little blueprint to start developing a pose. I'm taking a marker and just trying to create a nice loose gesture. I've basically blocked in a proportion for my head so I know approximately what proportion to make my fashion figure. And you can see I'm changing the arm because that was a little bit boring to have two arms down. Now using my sharper Prisma pencil, I'm going to start drawing in the pose. Again, trying to keep it nice and loose. This is your first stab at it, so it's better to be loose. You can always put another piece of tracing paper over and make corrections. But I'm trying to make sure that I am aware of the angles that my blueprint is indicating for me. Now you can see the connection of rib cage going in one direction to the pelvis going in the other direction. I'm going to shorten up that torso slightly. It was a little bit too long. I'm making sure that I've got my plumb line accurate so that my weight leg is coming underneath the body. And then my play leg, I'm looking at the negative space in order to make that relationship work. I want a nice, relaxed play leg. This is a casual, relaxed pose. I want to keep that mood. And there's my one arm just relaxing on her hip. And then for a little bit more gesture, I'm putting another arm onto the hip and I'm turning that hand out so it's not going to interfere with my design. I'm using a front pose as a basis for developing a side pose. So I'll have the same proportions. It just helps me speed up because I already have the slant of the rib cage and the proportion of the rib cage. But I'm turning it now in space to the side. I'm going to create a little bit more contrast between my rib cage and pelvis. Of course, the pelvis is narrower from the side. bit of an action pose. So I'm getting a nice S-curve to the leg, putting her in high heels, getting that stabilized, and then the play leg is going to kick out, create a little bit of action, getting a nice delicate arch to the foot. I can use my same arm pose, so that saves me some time. This is way to think of using one pose to quickly develop another if you're trying to create a group. Also remember that in presentations you want your figures to correspond to each other proportionately. I've got my head tilted slightly up so I'm aware of that as I block in my features. And creating my structure line, side plane, looking at three-quarters structure. It's a little bit more complex. It's dealing with perspective. You can see that three-quarter head and the neck coming from behind the ear. That head needs to sit comfortably on the tilt of the neck. And I need to think about the viewpoint disappearing into space. 
see the bust coming out of the plane of the sternum and the apex of the bust becomes the definition of the frontal plane and then it drops back into the side plane. You can see I'm always separating my rib cage, connecting with a stretch side of the waist to a compressed side of the waist into the tilt of the pelvis and blocking out the side plane and the frontal plane and the key line again is my center front. I need to make sure that that's accurately placed arms coming toward me and then going back toward the figure. I'm just making sure that I, all my perspective is accurate. Now just putting quickly a swimsuit shape, tank suit on it. I'm aware with my neckline that it's more open on the side further away from me and more closed on the side close to me. And then the opposite is true on the bottom. It's more closed around the stomach and more open around the leg. These are important perspective issues that you need to address in this three-quarter pose. 